guys let's go shopping in my house all right let's take a look here what have we got this is my onions let's see how are they looking oh those are still looking pretty good I have two left a red and a white a sweet onion so don't need to use that up yet let's look at the potatoes Uh-oh, I'm seeing some potatoes that need to go. So we'll take those. So I'm going to make that pot pie. So I'll be using the potatoes for that and maybe make some potato soup. Let's see what else we can find. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. All right, let's take a trip to the fridge here. Wow, yep, it's packed still, and I haven't gone shopping. So what do we have in here? Uh, we have, let's see, anything in here? Well, we have some cheese that needs to be used up. So if I make soup, I can put that in there. Here, I have a pie crust. Going to use that for the pot pie. I still have some beans and I still have my pickled onions. Let's see. I have my my iced tea there. Let's see about the drawers here and the produce. Okay, I still have a lettuce. Still looks good. So that'll get eaten. All right. Oh, these radishes look like they need some some love. And two apples that are getting a little bit pruney. So I'll make something with those, but not today. And I have some carrots that look like they need a little attention. So we'll get those out. Hi, Lizzie. It's little Lizzie. Let's see what we have in this drawer. Oh, we have a whole cabbage. And some oranges but I'm not going to make cabbage that cabbage still looks pretty good so we'll work on the radishes and the carrots and the potatoes sounds like a soup and salad to me and a pot pie all right so that's what I'm going to work on using up today and I really should give this cabbage a name, don't you think? Still hanging around here. And still doing okay. That's left over from the summer. So I'll be back later and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, howdy do. Got my potatoes all peeled. So they're still fine. They just weren't too attractive. So for those of you that um, shy away from the uh, markdown aisle, if you go often enough to the store and you know you're going to be using those um, products that you find within a decent time frame, that's a good way to save money. I can't do that because um, I need to not go into the stores, so I need to spend a little bit more on my produce um, unless the day that I happen to go into the store they have good markdowns, but um, <clears throat> normally I can't go into a store every three or four days because then I end up spending too much money. So that's me, but you know, there's all different kinds of shoppers and if you're disciplined enough where you can go into a store and just peruse the markdown produce aisle, then that's a great way to save money. So I'm going to boil these potatoes. I'm going to cube them up and I still have some of this oat milk left. I'm going to use it up and make some um, potato soup, but I'm going to parboil some of the potatoes and take them out and use them in my pot pie. 
that I'm going to use my reconstituted freezer chicken with. So I'm going to be working on a couple dishes here. <clears throat> I'm going to stick some of these carrots in with my potato soup. And then with the radishes that I found, I'm going to make a radish salad. And then I also have a whole thing of <laughs> partially dried up uh, spring onions here that really need to be used. I mean, this part's still good. Part of it is, you know, dried up. But I'm going to be putting some of this in with the potato soup because I don't want to use my two onions that are still good for the potato soup. So I'll be back in a little while um, when I get all this going. Okay, I have my potatoes all diced up and it's a nice little pot full. Now I'm going to cover these with water and I like to cook this with some seasoning, I, not just plain water and salt and pepper. Um, I use this, uh, and I use this a lot, it's the Gia Russa vegetable uh, flavored soup base. And uh, I like this, it's very versatile, and I like to um, pair it with the uh, Mrs. Dash's chicken salt-free uh, seasoning. Now there's no chicken in here, but um, so anyway, I'm going to put um, a couple of really good heaping teaspoons in here because I can always put more. And potatoes soak up salt. If you ever have a, a something that's a little too salty, um, if you add potatoes to it, the potatoes will soak up some of the salt. So I'm going to put a couple of heaping teaspoons in here. Actually, I'll probably do a little more than that because this is going to hold about three cups of water. So I can always add more later. So there is that. And then the uh, chicken seasoning doesn't have salt, so I'm going to put oh, a good heaping teaspoon of that in with it as well. And that's it for the seasonings for now. And I'll probably add a little pepper later. But I got my green onions all cleaned up, so they're looking better. And the white part of it now I'm going to cut up and stick in here too, because I like the flavor of onions in potato soup. And some of the green part I'm going to save to sprinkle over the top, so I won't put all of it in there, but a good part of it. And um, I just wanted to say, I don't meal plan the way a lot of people meal plan, where they have, um, you know, a calendar and you know, Monday I'm going to eat this, Tuesday I'm going to eat that, and that works out great for a lot of people. But I don't, I like going by what I feel like eating. So what I do, I go through, before I go shopping, I go through and I see what I have, I see what I need, and then I, um, I write down the ingredients I have and or I make a mental note of it and then I just create my meals around that. And I do what I did with you guys earlier. I kind of go around and see what needs to be eaten up and then I create a meal around that. So I don't do the conventional, you know, Monday I'm having a roast or, you know, whatever. But you know, you get my, my drift. And that works better for me. And um, sometimes I'll even write down, as I'm thinking about it, I'll write down a list of potential meals and then uh, I can go through the list and figure out what it is I wanna eat. So I'm gonna put this on to boil 
And some of these potatoes I will take out a little earlier when they're just a little parboiled because they'll be going in my pot pie. And um, so then I'm going to work on my radish salad and see what I can do with these carrots that need to be used up. So I'll be back in a little bit. Here's another little tip. I'm still waiting for that to boil. So I cut up my little green onion tops and I store my green onions in a glass with just a little bit of water, just enough to cover <clears throat> the roots on the bottom. You don't want to put too much water in because then they start to rot. But uh, you have to remember to change that water every day. And I put the glass by a window and they grow like really tall. So it gives you an extended use of your green onions. But now that I have this little bit of green onion left, another thing you can do as they're growing, I keep this open in my fridge and my refrigerator will dehydrate these if they're in there long enough so that they don't get mushy, but I leave it open. And then I give it a little toss every now and then. But I'll probably use these up because these, these green onions I've had, oh, for over a month and they were starting to get, um, they needed to go. So that's why I'm using those up in the soup and then I'll sprinkle this on top of the soup. So that's just a little tip I wanted to pass on uh, about the green onions. Okay, I'm back. Time for a tea break. So I bought this. It's Skinny Girl Peach Bellini, and I, I like peach bellinis. I mean, the real thing. So I thought, oh, that sounds really good. And it's green tea, and it's flavored like peach bellini. So I tried it, and I just did not like it. And it's been sitting in my in my Keurig, Keurig drawers now for a good year. So I thought to myself, well, I'm either going to give it away, throw it away, or figure out something to do with it. So I have, again, a Torani syrup. I have a lot of these. Uh, I don't know why I have so many, but I do. So this one is Bourbon Caramel Tarani, and I don't work for Tarani. I don't get anything for talking about this, but I just wanted to talk about reinventing things that you may not like, that if you change it up a little bit, you might like it. And I really like it. It is really good. I would even consider buying those peach bellini tea things again because I really like it now. So, think outside the box. It's really good. But anyway, uh, you might want to think about buying some of these if you like a sweeter beverage and you're, you don't want to drink pop or, you know, um, or you like tea and you like a variety of tea then uh, you might want to buy some of these Tarani syrups because, you know, when you go to your coffee house and you have your favorite lattes and things, they use syrups. That's what they use. And m most of their flavors come in um, regular or sugar-free, so depending on what you like. So that's a good thing to have in your stash, just, you know, for flavorings. So anyway... I don't have a lot of produce left. I showed you what I had. I still have the one um, head of romaine lettuce. So because I don't have much produce left, I didn't want to cook these carrots. So what I did was I cut them up. I sliced the uh, radishes, all of them very thin. So that's what that looks like. And I'm going to add some... Um, Italian dressing. Now this one happens to be the Girard's. I've talked about this before. It's the champagne um, and it's 60 calories vinaigrette. <clears throat> now this isn't cheap. I just looked this, this up at Walmart because I really like this dressing and I, I will get it again. It's one of the things this and Aldi's um, 
reduced reduced fat ranch. Those are my two favorites. So I will buy those again. All right, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I always answer the phone when family calls because you never know. So anyway, back to my salad. I don't have much produce left. So I still have that head of romaine and I wanted something else to go with it. So I'm going to marinate these radishes and carrots in some of this dressing and it'll give it a good flavor. And that way I'll have enough to make salads for a good two, three servings, probably closer to three servings. And then after that, I'm going to be perusing my freezers for um, frozen veggies because I know I have a lot of those that need to be used up. So uh, I'm going to just pour some of this dressing on here. And uh, what I was saying was this dressing is like over three dollars at Walmart, but I really like it. So for me, Yes, I could make my own, and sometimes I do, but since I like it, that's one of the things that I just decided I'm going to spend the money on. So you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to spend your money on, and that's what I mean when I talk about being mindful about spending. Uh, to me, it's worth it to spend the $3.50 or whatever for this, or spending money on the Tarani syrups because I get a lot of mileage out of this. And um, so that's what I do. But anyway, um, I'm going to mix up a couple spices for this soup. I'm going to give it a good mash. Uh, I like my potato soup a little bit chunky. I don't like it real, real smooth. So we'll see how it tastes. And then... Uh, I'm also going to put together my pot pie, but I have to find my mixed veggies. I don't know if I have any more frozen. If not, I know I have a can that I'll use for that. So I'm just going to give this a good shake. Shake it up. And you could put onions in here, but I already have pickled onions that I can use. So uh, I don't need to put onions in here. But, uh, you know, let it sit for, um, for a day or so, or you can use it right away, whatever works for you. But, uh, so that'll be great. And you can also use this on sandwiches. Now, this morning I had a baguette that was stale. <laughs> Yummy, doesn't that sound good? But it was stale, so I re- uh, heated it. I, I ran a little water over it and uh, I wrapped it in some foil, baked it in the oven for, oh, five, ten minutes, and then opened it up and uh, the foil up and crisped it up a little bit and it was perfectly fine. It was like fresh. And I had a veggie sub. I put some vegan cheese on it, melted that a little bit, and I put some radishes, hummus, I had a little bit of that guacamole left, and uh, lettuce, and a little bit of ranch dressing, and it was really good. It's actually one of my favorite sandwiches uh, to just have like a salad on bread. That's basically what it is. So this is going to go in the fridge, and uh, I do have another, another one of these in my Walmart cart. And I plan on picking up an order the beginning of next month because I'm sure by then I have another 11 days to go in the month. So by then I'm sure I'll be needing some things. All right, I'll be back with you in a little bit after I decide what I'm going to put in my soup. All right, normally I would use vegan butter in here because I'm going to use the oat milk, but uh, I have leftover butter from 
baking cookies at Christmas time. So I'm going to use about half a stick of butter in here. And this actually made quite a bit. And if you look at how thick this is, this would actually even make a good potato side dish. But it needs a little, I want soup, so. But you could keep part of this as a side dish if you wanted to. So I'm going to um, just take this butter out of the fridge so it's kind of hard. So I'm going to let this kind of melt in here. And um, cooking your uh, potatoes in some stock is really tasty. So, and then you can even mash this up with carrots if you want. But I'm going to make this into a soup, and I am going to try to freeze some of this. I don't know how it will turn out, because I've frozen potatoes before, and they're kind of mushy. But this is already mushy, so I don't know. I'm going to try it, but I'm going to eat some of it first. So um, in here I have about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I have about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, about half a teaspoon of onion powder, and then I have some bacon salt that I have left over. It's also vegan. So I'm going to put all that in here because it needs a little something. After I add the oat milk, it's going to be a little bit too, too bland. So, and I like to mix my spices up before I add them, just so they're evenly distributed. So, in that goes. And give that a good mix before I add the milk. So, my refrigerator is getting, well, you saw it, it's not empty. But my produce is getting all used up, and I think that's the first time I've done that in a very long time. And that makes me happy. So that's what I'm going to do from now on, and I may only need to buy produce once a month. And then when it's gone, then you start using your frozen veggies. I mean, you don't need a salad every single day. So, but I like a salad now and then. I like lettuce on my sandwiches. But you can always go buy a head of lettuce. But when I stock up now, when I go shopping, I do want to get avocados because I eat those a lot. And uh, I will get more produce for it to last the month. So let me give this a taste before I add the milk. As you can see, it's still thick, and I'm probably going to need more milk than this, but I have more. So let me try this. Let's try a little bit. Tasty. It's good. All right, I think I might need more salt after I add the, the milk. If I do... I'll just add some garlic salt. Yay! I finally used all this oat milk. I didn't think I was going to make it. I made some more oat milk creamer this morning. I made three batches of that. So finally I used this up. So I'm glad about that. Um, I need a clean spoon. Let's mix this up. I should have had a bigger pot. That's what I should have had. So let me get this mixed up and I'll be back. All right, you guys, here you go. I put a little sour cream, some um, veggie bacon bits, 
and some of the green onion. So let's give it a taste. I like my potato soup thick. If you like it thinner, add more milk. Or you can add cream and it would make it a little richer, but I didn't have cream. So I use what I have. So I'm going in. Mm. That's really good. It's really good. The sour cream adds a little more flavor to it. And the onion. Yummy. So, another rescued food. Because those potatoes were looking pretty sad. So anyway, that's my potato soup. And I saved some of the potatoes to put in my pot pie. I don't know if I'm going to make the pot pie today or tomorrow. I'll probably just end up eating the potato soup today. Put this in the fridge and uh, make the pot pie tomorrow. But, so anyway, I think I'm done cooking for today. And... <laughs> You're probably thinking, God, doesn't this lady do anything but cook? But honestly, um, I'll go through spurts maybe two, three days a week where I go around the house, I look and see what I have, and I cook up what needs to be cooked, and that's always enough for several meals. So I don't cook every day. You know, I cook maybe two, three times a week, and that's enough for the whole, for the whole week. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share this with you and have a little chat, and I love visiting with you guys. Um, I hope you love visiting with me. What are some of the things that you make out of some of your produce that's about to expire? Um, I'm curious to know, because I can always use more ideas. All right, my friends, um, I love you guys. I wish you abundant blessings, and I'll see you next time.